Questions around Melania Trump's reported hospitalization for kidney surgery have intensified as it's been noted by White House reporters and on social media that the First Lady hasn't been seen in public for at least 15 days. According to the Washington Post, the length of Mrs. Trump's absence is long even for a woman who's not known to crave the spotlight. On Friday, President Donald Trump faced a question from a reporter about his wife's whereabouts as he prepared to board Marine One to attend the Naval Academy commencement. The president just confused matters more by pointing to a window in the White House residence and saying, she's doing great. She's looking at us right there. But when reporters turned to look at the window he indicated, there was no sign of the First Lady, according to a pool report. I can't stop laughing. Seven seconds of Trump from today, May 25th. Melania hasn't been seen in two weeks. Something's up, and as much as Trump claims, she's right there looking at us while Trump points, I don't know Melania was, up in the WH window. Weird https colon slash slash t dot co slash o amazon 7 ipic dot twitter dot com slash t3 mdrr bqdg riot women at riot women may 25th 2018 the public last saw melania trump on may 10th standing with her husband at joint base andrews in maryland as they greeted three americans who had been released from prison in north korea the washington post said Four days later, on Monday, May 14, her White House spokeswoman issued a statement, announcing that she was recovering at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center near Washington, D.C. Stephanie Grisham said she had undergone an embolization procedure to treat an unspecified but benign kidney-related issue. Melania Trump and Vice President Mike Pence look on as President Donald Trump shakes hands with U.S. detainee Tony Kim on May 10. Saul Loeb, AFP, Getty Images, Grisham said the procedure was successful, and both she and the president asserted the first lady would stay in the hospital just two or three days. But when Melania Trump didn't return to the White House by the end of the week, a sense of mystery grew over the exact nature of her medical issue, with reporters and people asking on social media asking whether her condition was more complicated, or even something different. From what the White House initially reported, Fox News reported that an embolization procedure is performed to cut off blood supply to a tumor, aneurysm or abnormal growth, typically growing in the kidney or liver, to shrink the foreign mass. The surgery usually is non-invasive and is offered on an outpatient basis, which means patients often leave the same day and suffer minor side effects at most, Fox News added. Doctors interviewed by Fox News and CNN said it was unusual for someone undergoing this procedure to stay in the hospital for a week, which was turning out to be the case for Melania Trump. Muhammad Alif, vice chairman of urology at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, told CNN that the first lady's length of hospitalization is somewhat atypical but not out of the question. He noted that it was hard to say more without more information about her condition. It may be just out of an abundance of caution and privacy, Aleph added. Certainly, staying a little longer may imply that this is a little bit more of a complex situation. Melania Trump finally left the hospital on Saturday, May 19, with Trump making headlines for initially misspelling her first name as Melanie, in a tweet welcoming her back to the White House. ABC News reported, that day, Grisham issued another statement saying the First Lady is resting comfortably and remains in high spirits. Trump misspells Melania's name as Melanie, pic.twitter.com slash 6i6low2gskg, Claire Foran, at Seek Marie, May 19, 2018, but questions continued to grow this past week with the White House saying, nothing more about her condition or about when she would resume her public appearances, the Washington Post reported. In the First Lady's absence, others stepped in to perform her duties. That includes Karen Pence, wife of Vice President Mike Pence, who accompanied the wife of South Korea's president on a tour of a historic home near the White House.
The First Lady, or someone on her behalf, has tweeted out three times since Mother's Day, May 13. The tweets from the Ed Flotus account have included a May 16 message of thanks to the staff at Walter Reed, while she was still at the hospital. A sincere thank you to Walter Reed Medical Unit at where Bethesda. Melania Trump, at Flotus, May 16, 2018 She also tweeted condolences to the survivors of the May 18 mass shooting that killed 10 people at a high school in Santa Fe, Texas. My heart goes out to Santa Fe and all of Texas today. Melania Trump, at Flotus, May 18, 2018 Melania Trump's longtime friend Paolo Zampoli told The Washington Post that he and the First Lady have exchanged a few text messages since her return from the hospital but would say nothing more except, she seems to be recovery well, Melania Trump's two-week absence comes just when it seemed that she, reported to be a reluctant First Lady, was ready to take on a more high-profile role with the launch earlier this month of Be Best, her long-awaited White House platform. She described Be Best as a multi-pronged effort promote the well-being of American children, with a focus on promoting children's online safety. On Twitter, people were asking about her absence, with some wondering when she had last been seen in public and others speculating on the reasons she has been gone this long. In Melania Trump's absence, a Twitter joke also emerged when a sinkhole opened up on the White House lawn over the weekend. The joke was that the sinkhole was actually Melania Trump's failed attempt to dig a tunnel to escape the White House, people reported, Melania's tunnel, just a bit short. HTTPS colon slash slash t co slash cx1 Kleipsha, Carl Petersheim, at Carl Petersheim, May 22, 2018 You have to dig better, Melania. You screwed up two years ago, too. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash SDMX GLN WJL Barbara J. May at Barbara J. May 2, May 22, 2018. This story has been updated.